I'm going to show you how to make a really simple background for your planted aquarium. It looks really natural and it's really cheap. And I'm going to use these hands. This is a latex glove. You want to make sure to get a pair of latex gloves because otherwise the silicone will stick to your hands. Basically the premise is you take the cocoa fiber and well you put a bunch of silicone on the background on the back of the tank and then you use your hands your hands to uh, smooth out and put cocoa fiber all over the background it ends up looking really detailed and really uh, it's really really simple and it doesn't hardly take up any tank volume it's only going to be like a really thin layer like less than a centimeter thick in most places um, yeah there it is in my bow front again. Again, this, well, this tank isn't lit, so it's kind of hard to see, but in my opinion, it looks pretty snazzy. Okay, step one, get aquarium. This happens to be just a tiny little crappy aquarium that I had laying around. Um, and my girlfriend... Hi. ...wanted to make something that was nice for her little beta. So, um... I had this laying around, so we're going to use that. Uh, it's made of plastic, so what I did was score the glass. Or, not the glass. I scored the plastic with a sharp blade. Because we need silicone to stick onto that plastic. If you have a glass tank, you're fine. It's going to stick on just fine. Just like I did with my bow front tank. Yeah, that background isn't finished though. And this is just going to be really simple. You're going to need a bit of silicone. You won't use a whole tube. Probably just, for something this size, you wouldn't use a whole tube. For something like a 10 gallon, you might use a whole tube. Um, and basically the deal is, is that we're going to use the flat side as the front of the tank. Suki, tell us what the main ingredient is. Today's special ingredient it's cocoa fiber! Yes, my friends, cocoa fiber! Woo! You can find it really cheap at many hydroponic stores. It is only about a dollar per brick, and it expands to make this beautiful looking dirt stuff. Mm. You can see it in action in my paludarium. Look at that cocoa fiber! Uh, yeah! Oh, uh, yeah, sexy! Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, yeah! Yeah, oh! Uh. Grab hold of your cock in gun and place your silicone tube inside your cock in gun. This will be a very helpful tool in the exercise that I am about to demonstrate. Which is... Okay, now I'm just going to put silicone all along the back of this. Uh, if you've never used a cock and gun before... Um, don't use your left hand. Recording? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you don't really need much silicone. That's probably good enough. Because we're making a really thin background. Okay. This stuff starts solidifying in... Uh, I don't know. Fast. Um, you're going to notice that your caulking gun might still have a little bit of silicone coming out of it. Just let it do its thing. Don't panic. Find something to put the caulking gun down on so that it doesn't drip all over the place. But it's going to seal itself, so you can use it later. Okay. Now Suki will demonstrate proper spreading technique. Just wipe it everywhere. Uh, kind of oh want to do it kind of fast. Oh, why? Oh, sweet mother. Oh, this is absolutely the weirdest. Oh, no. 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 Yeah. Okay. Oh, why? Oh, it a little bit got inside. Oh, that's okay. That's nice. Okay. <coughs> that looks good. Uh, yeah, enjoy not breathing. No, oh, yeah. like Chinese food. This stuff released tons of fumes. Yeah. <coughs> as she's choking on right now. 
it's awful. Yeah, it is awful. It smells like <laughs> vinegar like a thousand times. Yeah. <laughs> and then it Actually, takes the cocoa fiber. What we could do <laughs> is pour that in here and then just shake it around. I hate you! I hate you! Here, take this out. Oh, okay. Whoop. Ew. Okay. Now we take... Wait, hang on. Now... <laughs> now we'll take... Okay, go. Okay. Now we take our brown substance and we put it on our clear substance. Very gently. Nice work. Now we have our finished product.